All right, welcome back to episode two of our budget two-door JL build here at JCR Off-Road. If you were following along last episode, you know that we're about $700 in the red or so on this, but it's fine, we'll, we'll figure that out later. So last episode we got, let's see, we got a JKS J-Spec lift under their product development for free. Free is awesome. We stole some 39 inch tires with 22 inch wheels from Kanati Tires, so stealing is free. And we also made this awesome stubby bumper here with a Sawzall. And we didn't have to buy any blades, we just used some junk we found in the garage here, so that's also free. So looking really great, but I think now we should focus on lighting. And the first thing I wanna do is on Instagram, I'm seeing all these like angry eye things here. I've had just about enough of Ah, oh, give it a rest. You! It looks really awesome, but you know, I don't have any money to buy any vinyl, so I'm thinking that maybe we can use this roll of Gorilla Tape that I stole from the garage. But you know, Angry Eyes seem kind of played out. Down, 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 down. So maybe we can do something a little better. Maybe we can harken back to, you know, WW2 when men were men and they didn't have to see shit. So let's see what we can do here. What follows is a brief construction montage. We hope you enjoyed this brief construction montage. Ha, looking good. World War II blackout headlights. Remember, you saw it here first. Hottest thing on Instagram. Fire emoji. All right, so we got that done, but I think the light output might be slightly diminished now. And we lost the driving lights in the last episode, so I think we're in a serious need for lumens. I wake up screaming in terror because of the blackness and I think I'm dead. Now light bars are super popular on Jeeps right now and I know what you're saying, light bars are really expensive, but you know where they're not expensive? On Amazon. What we have here is the rigid horse. <laughs> it looks very suspicious, but they added a horse, so it's definitely not copyright infringement. And we're gonna, oh yeah, look at the, look at the quality of that light bar, look at it. And you know what? It might be a little thinner than most light bars, but you're just paying for that extra thickness and that heat sink. You don't need any of that. Let's get this thing installed. All right, I think this is gonna look really awesome right here on this bumper. And man, it kind of almost fits here. looks like we need to do some custom, bra we can't afford custom brackets. Let's just bend it. Oh yeah, look at that. Awesome. Really great, that'll stay. And then we'll use these high quality screws here to, these things never gonna come out of here. All right, so we couldn't afford one of those fancy switch panel things, so I wired this bad boy right to the battery. I mean, I used a fuse, I'm not, I'm not crazy. And I carefully routed my wire there down through the grill. And because I plan on having this thing on basically all the time, just put a switch right down here. See it? Look at how clean that installation is. <laughs> so great. I'm just gonna leave it on all day. All right, so the last part of our lighting package here are these lights right here, rock lights. Always important on any late night trail run, midnight beach cruise, but they're expensive, man, LEDs are crazy, but not on Amazon. I got these little, these little rock lights here, and the crazy thing is they're wireless, and they have sticky on the back, so all you do to turn them on is just tap them like that. Isn't that crazy? Genius, genius, genius. All right, while I'm turning on these rock lights, I'm gonna read for my budget here. We spent $9.89 on these really awesome wireless LED rock lights. Spent 11 bucks on AAA batteries for these wireless rock lights. What a great value. We spent $39.99 on our kick-ass 20-inch LED light bar. It's gonna light up the trail for a total of $755.88 in the hole. We're gonna have to make that up somehow next episode, but right now, yeah, that looks awesome. Talk to you soon.